Welcome back. Children can take a trip to a magical world at a new bookstore in Danville. Plaid Elephant Books is a place where they can read, play, and be entertained. For owner Kate Snyder, it's a labor of love. Plaid Elephant Books is definitely a pandemic story because I was home a lot last year. Um, I was working remotely and I think if nothing else, the pandemic gave us a lot of time for introspection <laughs> and thinking about what did we want the world to look like when all this is over, right? When, when, we, when it starts to go back to normal, what world do we wanna go back to? And for me, I missed community. I love Danville. I love all that a small town has to offer and I miss all the ways that the community was able to interact with each other during the pandemic. So I was thinking about community and I'd had some ideas for businesses floating around in my head. I'm an artist, I've been thinking about that. Then I joined a free 10 week entrepreneur program run by an organization called CenterWorks that's a collaboration between Center College here in Danville and the community. And going through that program, their big thing was to ask your community what they need and to listen to your community, which I love to do because I love to talk to people. My background is in communications and fundraising for nonprofits, so people are my jam. And I went out and I did interviews with dozens and dozens of families and grandparents and people and just kind of asked them like, what do we need in Danville? And what do you value as a family? And I started to hear about reading right? Because reading is so important to so many families. And what I was hearing was, we love books, we love to read, and there's nowhere to buy books in Danville. So, you know, they're buying online, they're buying at book fairs, they're jumping in the car and driving to Lexington for Joseph Beth, but you know, that's, that's a 45 minute drive for us. And people were willing to do it, but they'd sure rather be closer to home. So through that process of really listening to the community, we settled, I settled on this idea of, all right, maybe a bookstore. And for me, I wanted it to be a children's bookstore because I think kids need a place that's theirs. I wanted children to have space that really was designed for them, was intended for them, wasn't just a corner of the grown up space that you're allowed to be in, right? Like we need, we need that space that feels like it's really for us. So that was how I decided on the children's children's idea. Plus, everybody loves to buy books for their kids. You know, pay, physical hard copy books for children are never going to go away. They're never going to be displaced by ebooks because there's just nothing like a board book or a beautiful picture book. You can't replicate that on a screen. What has the response been to the plaid elephant since you opened it in Danville? It's been tremendous. The thing that makes me most happy is there's two things. One, kids walk in and go, oh, and their eyes get big and they just start running around the store. So I love that. But what I also love is the number of parents and teachers and grandparents who say, we needed this. I'm so glad you're here. So there's nothing like, you know, inspiring joy when people walk in through the door. That is, that is wonderful for me. And it's such a great opportunity uh, for families. You have, you're obviously selling books, but I see a lot of other th things behind you as well. So give us a little overview of the store and what you offer. Sure. Sure. So obviously, yes, the main thing is books. We've got about 4,000 titles here in the store and that's babies through young adults. So I go up into the young adult range, which personally I read from that shelf quite a lot. So when adults ask me if there's anything for them, I say, right this way, you will just love this new dystopian fantasy. Um, and then I also do stock the sort of accoutrements for children. So we've got everything from, you know, we have cute like ninja erasers or felted lion pencil holders, and then, you know, baby socks, onesies, lots of puzzles and board games because I'm a big fan of those. And certainly something I think we all became bigger fans of during COVID when we were stuck at home, it was like the puzzle renaissance. So I've got lots of those good things as well. We'll have some more toys coming into the holidays. Uh, got a really great line of recycled plastic, like dump trucks and things that they make out of uh, recycled milk jugs. Kind of everything to keep kids, kids happy and uh, having a fun time. So where can people find you and how can they shop Plaid Elephant? Yeah, so we are located physically part of downtown Danville. We are a sweet, lovely town, come visit. And I'm at 116 North 3rd Street. You can also find me online at plaidelephantbooks.com. I'm on Facebook and Instagram, and you can actually shop online too. There's a really great online platform called bookshop.org. 
which is an option for people to support independent booksellers. So if you buy through my bookshop page, it'll ship directly to your home. You don't have to come to the store to pick it up and the proceeds will still um, benefit a mom owned independent store. So I love that. And you'll also find if you go on my Facebook page, I'm gonna post some information about the CenterWorks program that I was in. Um, they're starting a new community this fall. So they are accepting applications for the next round of this entrepreneur community. So if anybody is interested, has even an inkling that they might wanna start a business, it's gonna be conducted via Zoom. So really anyone in the sort of catchment area could participate and let's have some more new businesses come out of this. 